Hi everyone, welcome to Every Day, your daily stuff for virtual reality content. Today we're going to do a little something totally different. We're looking at an application called Deathscope, and its tagline is, Do anything in Windows with the Rift. I am looking at my Windows desktop right now inside the Rift, and I can look at it and interact with it in exactly the same way that I normally would without having to take my headset off. So this is the desktop control panel. So, and here is the desktop web page where I retrieved it. So it's produced by someone known only as Angel J, rather mysterious name. It's an open source thing. Um, I'll provide a link to this page in the description. And um, it has a lot of settings. Um, the default settings work pretty well. I'm just going to go through some of them. So, um, the IPD uh, is your inner pupil distance. It doesn't retrieve it from your Rift profile. Um, it, for some reason, it turned out that the IPD I want to set here is higher than the one in my profile. I'm not sure why that is, but I have it set to 65. I'm usually around 61. Um, zoom makes the screen smaller or larger. So I'm at 70% right now. If I bring it up to 100%, my screen gets larger. I have to move my head more to look all the way around it, but I can see more detail. Now keep in mind that the rift is right now, um, the, the visible area in the rift is on the order of 500 by 500 pixels in DevKit 1. So even though my screen is set to a relatively low resolution, uh, 128800, I still have to move my head quite a bit to actually see all the way around it. Um, this will be less of a problem in future versions of the rift that have more resolution. I hope the consumer rift will, the consumer rift will definitely be at least 1080p. It might be 1440p. And I can zoom even farther, all the way up to 200. When I'm, at, when I'm at 200, I can see quite a bit of detail as I look around my screen. And I have to move my neck all around. All right, I'm going to bring that back down. So um, depending on what settings you have, you'll have a different amount of sharpness. So I'm going to bring it back up to 100 for a minute. So if I look at this text, you'll notice there's a little bit of blurriness to the text. It's not as sharp as it is on my actual monitor. Now, if I set Rift no roll, so part of the problem is if I turn my head diagonally, the screen is uh, has to also turn diagonally in order for me to perceive it as uh, having not moved when I'm in the Rift. Um, and I can turn that off by hitting Rift no roll. And if I do that, then the screen rotates with my head. But if I keep my head up straight, then it'll keep reasonably upright. And the advantage of doing this is that if I turn my head even a little bit, that roll will um, will cause uh, will cause um, alias anti-aliasing anti of the text or blurring of slight blurring of the text due to that roll, um, that transformation. And the final transformation that introduces a little bit of blur is this correct distortion. So right now, my screen in virtual space in the Rift looks like a rectangle. It looks like somebody just floated a rectangle off in space and pasted my mo a window to my monitor on it. Um, but if I turn this off, correct distortion, my monitor now looks more like it's like um, on a curvy surface, like it's um, like the like I'm on um, like I'm like I'm have one of those parachutes and I'm on the inside and I'm pulling it down around me, that's kind of what it looks like. It's bending in a little bit on a, all four corners towards me. Um, but when I have no roll on and I have correct distortion off and I have zoom set to exactly 100%, at this point, uh, the pixels on the rift are exactly the same as the pixels on, the, on my screen. It's literally just bit copying uh, a rectangle from one screen to the other. And because of that, I get a very, very sharp picture. Um, I can see the individual pixels of the text um, when I bring up my Minesweeper. Um, I can see every individual pixel of these, these red digits here. So this is as sharp as it gets in terms of getting uh, your monitor experience on the Rift if you configure it with these specific settings. Um, and, and when I play this game, like even though my head's moving around and it's introducing a little bit of blur, it's not actually a big deal. Um, I can play this game completely like I normally would. There's nothing awkward about it. Um, it's obviously lower resolution than usual, but 
that's just because the the apparent rev uh the visible resolution of the rift is again lower than my actual screen. Let me go ahead and play through this game. Why am I bad at Minesweeper? There's no mine. Okay, there has to be a mine here or here. So there's not a mine here. And there's my four. There we go. I'm a winner. Okay. So um, some of the other things you could do. I'm going to go ahead and turn Correct Distortion back on. Got myself my rectangle. So Correct Distortion introduces the most blurring in the corners. Tends to be sharper towards the middle of the screen. I'm going to turn Roll Correction back on. There we go. And it's still reasonably sharp with these settings on. It's just not as perfectly sharp as it is with the settings I showed you a minute ago. Now I'm going to zoom back out to 70%. And I'm going to show you some of the other fun things that you can do. So um, I could go to my Gmail. I can check that. I could read my emails. Tells me who's following me on Twitter, that kind of thing. No problem doing that. And I can go to my Netflix where I'm currently watching an episode of Breaking Bad. And I can just go ahead and maximize this and play it like normal. A new day is I can seek in it. I can use this control totally normally. Maybe at this point. I can look from one part of the screen to the other. The best way to help repair And the I could imagine watching an entire show or an entire movie like this, no problem. The family, you know. Now if I watch this for a while, I will get some amount of drift. And uh, I'll start my body will start to be rotating to keep my eyes in the center of the screen as I look around. So once that happens, I have to go here and I have to just hit recenter screen. I believe there's also a hotkey for this. So that puts the screen back in the center of my view. Um, so some other important settings here. FOV adjustment. I don't actually know what that does. Hmm. I, I can't tell any difference with that. So I'm going to leave that alone. Oh, I know what that does. So that adjusts the um, how much black is around the edge of your view, I believe. So if I turn that down, so now I can start to see black just in the edges of my horizontal view if I look all the way left or right with the FOV turned down. But that will increase my frame rate, which is sometimes desirable on a slower system. Likewise, if I turn it up, then um, it'll extend my FOV farther out. But I believe that's actually beyond my visual range with my current um, configuration. So I'm just going to leave it set to zero. Percent, and single window mode is pretty handy. So if I bring up my Minesweeper application again, click on Sunglasses Dude, and I drop Window Finder on here. So now, Minesweeper is the only app in the world, and I could zoom in on 200% on this, and it's nice just to be able to focus on an individual app so that you can just see that one app and not see everything else being distracting. All right, now I'm going to go back. If I just click outside of the app, it should bring me back. Yep, here I am. Um, you can change the background color. Black is um, kind of a floating in space kind of feeling. Sometimes it's nice to just turn up the blue. Um, say 200 on the blue, or 128 on the blue. So blue is a little bit more of a soothing color. Makes you feel like your window's floating in the sky instead of in outer space. Maybe turn up these to like 64. Yeah, a little bit of a more shale blue, more sky blue. Got to recenter my screen. You can see I've drifted quite a bit. I'm looking straight ahead, but my screen is kind of floated upwards. So I'm recentering it. Um, capture rate says how many frames per second it is. If your uh, system can't keep up with a full 60 per second frames per second, then you can um, uh, lower this to 30 or 15 or whatever makes sense for you for the application you're using. Um, now, as far as I know, it's not possible right now to start other Rift applications from Descope while wearing the Rift. 
um, because it's using the device and it'll say the device is in use. Um, so it's not really uh, that useful for launching things. I mean, you can um, you can like close this and launch the new application at the same time, but when you exit it, you have to restart it. So it's not so great for that purpose. Um, but just for like you know watching streaming video for like I could go on YouTube. Let me go ahead and visit my YouTube channel. Do do. Here's Reddit. And I'm on my channel. My channel. Here I am. Going to go to my last video. Don't let go. Hi, everyone. Welcome to Every I'm Day, your daily stop for virtual reality content. There's the dinosaur. I am D, and today we're going to be looking at a unique little I demo just, that I've just discovered called Don't Let Go. Maximize this. Uh, it was one of the finalists and in I'm the VR watching Jam, YouTube video. And it was produced like by Yorick Van right on my Vliet, screen. or Vliet, of Skydome Studios. And the basic concept of this game is you are seated at a desk, and you have a laptop, and you have to hold down both of the controls. So... As you can see, you can watch YouTube video normally. You can watch Netflix video streaming normally with this application. It's really great for that purpose. You can adjust the zoom to say how big the screen is going to be. Uh, some people prefer the watch like streaming video a little farther out so they can fit it all in their view like this. It zooms out this far at the extreme. Or you can make it like movie screen sized if you zoom all the way in. I don't believe you can adjust the uh, distance of the screen from your from your eyes. I think that would be a great useful feature to add in the future. Um, and I believe for now that is all I'm going to show you. So go ahead and um, grab desktop here. Uh, it's available on uh, SourceForge, and I'll provide the link. Uh, it's a great application just to do anything you can normally do in Windows um, inside of your Rift. Give it a try. And everybody have a great every day.